G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna do a cloudy swipe. Well, I'm gonna to attempt to do a cloudy swipe anyway. I've had this in my mind for a while, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Uh, I'm using Folk Art Milk Paint for the clouds. If you can't get this one anymore, use Satin Enamels, Deco Art Satin Enamels, but you will have to make it thinner. Listen to this. You hear that? It's really watery and thin. So, equal parts Artist Loft White to Milk Paint, and then one, to one with flow troll. If you're using the satin enamels, you're probably gonna have to go two to one for the um, flow troll. This is the Australian flow troll. I think it's a lot thinner than uh, the US flow troll. Uh, and then my colors, I'm using Montmartre. Uh, that one is the phthalo blue. <clears throat> phthalo blue with a bit of black to make navy and we have this one is deep cyan blue and that one's turquoise and these are mixed three parts flow troll one part paint so 90 grams 30 grams three ounces one ounce so that's those all right <clears throat> now i'm not going for cells um, I'm not going for lacing, I just want a bit of a cloudy kind of a movement. I don't really know what to expect, so we'll just get going, put the paint on the surface and see what happens. Hopefully I've got enough paint here. I'm starting to pour over some of my older canvases that, you know, from maybe a year ago that weren't my best. Rather than keep using new canvases, I'm going to try and recycle and pour over some of the ones I'm not that happy with. <clears throat> Get that all out. And then I'll tilt the canvas to cover all the sides. And then we'll pour on the milk paint Let's see what happens I think I'm going to put quite a lot of milk paint on because I really want it to sort of float over the top of the blue and then I'm going to tilt it to get some movement and sort of a cloud like appearance so anyway we'll see how we go just because I've got that in my mind doesn't mean that that's what's going to work. We shall see. I think that's enough paint. Hopefully that's enough to cover the surface. As I said, I want the whole thing to sort of move and get a sort of an organic, natural kind of a look. So we'll put the white there for a minute and give this a bit of a, a tilt around. Go over all the edges. Whoops, lost a lot there. Come back. And go over the sides down here. So when I'm using my glue and water mix to swipe with uh, and silicone, um, I'm trying to get this to the same consistency because the glue and water mix is much thinner than just plain flow troll. So that's why I've got it at three to one instead of my usual like one and a half to one, what I would normally swipe with when I'm doing the 60-40 glue. But you guys, if you've been following me, you know all those things. So I've hopefully got it to the same consistency. Let me just clean my hands. A little damp cloth here, and then I'll pour the white on and, and I'll swipe. I'm gonna swipe with a piece of plastic. I'm gonna do a few swipes. This is it here I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna do a few so I can get some just different looks. I don't wanna just do the whole one. Now I might do 
Oh, let's see. Let's just put. I'll put quite a lot of white on. Normally, I wouldn't put so much swipe color on, but I wanted to see if I can get some of that blue to pop up through the white when I swipe. Oh, hopefully, hope it's not too much. Oh, paper towel. Got my paper towel ready. Folded piece of paper towel there, and I'll just use that to clean my plastic sheet, and then I can swipe again. Righto, here we go. Oh, I have a feeling now it's too much white, but let's just do it. And I am going to tilt. So pretty much the whole thing is going to be covered in white, isn't it? <laughs> we'll just call it blizzard and be done with it, eh? What are you doing? Hmm? What do you think you're doing? I can always swipe again if it is too much white. But we'll see how it goes. I'm going to use the other side of my plastic now. A clean half. Hopefully I've got enough white on there that I can just sort of, when I tilt, I can just float that white around and hopefully get some colour up through the centres of them. Whoops, that's all right. All right, I'll get rid of this. And it doesn't look much at the moment, does it? Uh-uh. Let's hope, let's hope I can improve on this. Oi! I said no cells, you guys. Did you not hear me? All right, now this is where I'm just going to tilt and try and get a little bit of movement happening. Get some of that white off. And hopefully get some color coming through like there is in that top corner there. Go the other way. I have no idea. I have no idea what to expect, really, you guys. So bear with me. Maybe that was a bit too much white. <laughs> Go off this bottom corner here. over on that corner all right now I'm going to turn it around and bring the white back again I am feeling like I've used too much white oh dear oh dear Actually, maybe I should just stick to tilting that one way rather than try and bring the white back. Let's just see if I can get some more white off. So go down on the corner like that. It's going to take a while, so feel free to fast forward as I pour white paint off. It is moving, it's very slow. Okay, I've got way, way too much white paint there, haven't I? Obviously. Obviously! too much white paint um all right what can i do what can i do um let's just lightly drag that white down I don't 
know that there's enough paint left on the surface now for me to tilt it anymore. see if I can get a little bit more paint to move. Let's stand over here on the side so I can see what's happening. Straight down now. Not at all what I was expecting. I will persist and just see what happens. I'll go to the corner like that and just see if I can get a little bit of movement in it rather than just straight down. And go off that corner down the bottom there. So you just, I don't know, I just wanted this pale, cloudy, organic sort of a, a look. And I didn't really know how to get it, but I just thought I'll try this. It doesn't work, it doesn't work, I've tried. Just want to get a bit more off that corner there. A little bit more, it's gone a bit ziggy zaggy there, so I just want to get a bit of that off. And then I'll come back the other way. That little blob just there. I want that to go. Go, go, go. Off you go. But there's really not much paint left on the surface. I just want to see if I can get that little blob to go. It's going, but it's very, very slow. Go, go, go. Go, you good thing. There he goes. Wave bye bye. All right, I think he's gone. Now then, um, what else do I want to do? I want to just bring it back. Mm, which way shall I try and hold it for you so you can see? I might try this way. Just going to put a little bit more movement in it if I can by just holding it this way, just so that I haven't got too straight of lines. Oops, don't know where to hold it. All right. Well, that is not at all what I was expecting. I guess it would, um, I wonder if I can just get the paint to move that way just a touch, probably can't. Just because it's a bit messy on the bottom there where it's been, I think I've been holding it. I might play with that later and get it to run down that way a little bit, but I think, I'm going to just clean this up and then I'm going to move this piddle pad because it's covered in paint and so am I. This, this was really messy, you guys. Let me just move this because it's a real big mess.
So, what do you think? I know, you probably hate it. But, um, yeah, just, as I said, just trying something new. Trying to get a cloudy... It does kind of look cloudy, doesn't it? Wispy, cloudy. It's got the different colours shining through. A little bit of green, little hints of white, a little bit of grey from the navy and the white mixing together. So, there we go. I'll leave it at that. See how it dries. Um... Yeah, so that was fun to do anyway. It's, I just wanted to try it. As I said, I had no idea if it was going to work or not. Um, I, <laughs> I probably did put too much white on there. Let's uh, turn the light off. Probably did put too much white on it. But I think it's still pretty. It certainly is a, a cloudy look. So, yeah, happy with that. But I think I would have it the other way around. Hey, I don't think I can zoom in any more than that. Alrighty. I'll leave it there. You can see the, the colours, how they've blended nicely. Love that little bit of turquoise there that's just popping through. Okay. And I will... See you for the next pour. Climb up my ladder. And there she is. So if you don't like it, that's okay. We can't always like everything we do, hey. But I thought, oh, look, I've done it. I might as well put it up. Maybe someone will learn something from it. Maybe they can take this technique and improve on it. Have a little practice. Show me what you do. Put it up on the... Um, Pouring Your Heart Out with Julie Facebook group. I'd love to see your experiments with a, a cloudy swipe. And uh, maybe we can see where we can take this. Because I'm sure a little bit more practice and um, we can actually make something really spectacular with this technique. So have a go and um, I'll see you real soon for the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.